Hey everyone, uh, we're going to do a quick walkthrough of how to install and use the VoiceFlow WordPress plugin. Um, so here on GitHub, you can see the README here. First thing we're going to do is go down to the code drop down. We're going to download the zip file because WordPress prefers zips when we're adding new plugins. Download the zip. We're going to head to the WordPress dashboard of whatever site that you are working on here. Um, this is kind of an uh, open playground site that I have spun up here. We're going to go to plugins. Here we have all the list of plugins here that I have on this site. We go up to the top left, click add new, and you're going to click this upload plugin. One thing that I will say is we have submitted this WordPress plugin um, to show up in the WordPress repository. So eventually, instead of downloading the GitHub link, you should be able to type in VoiceFlow into this keyword search bar and have the plugin show up. But for now, we're gonna use the link that we get from the GitHub zip file. So we click Upload Plugin choose file, download here, I've downloaded it twice, click install now, activate plugin. If I scroll down here, okay, to my plugins, VoiceFlow, adds VoiceFlow chat widget to your site, version 1.0.0 by Umbral AI. Okay, now how do we access this? If we come to settings, you'll see in the drop down here at the very bottom, I now have voice flow as an option. Click voice flow. We have project ID, which will be blank the first time you install this. So how do we get the project ID of the chatbot that we create in voice flow? Go to our voice flow dashboard. I'm going to open an internal docs bot that I made previously. Wait for it to load. Actually, we might not even have to wait for it to load. Yes, we do. I'm going to click refresh here. What's going on? There we go. All right, come down on the left-hand side to settings. Scroll all the way down to the metadata. And we have project ID, version ID here. So if we copy this project ID and then come back to our WordPress site, we're going to paste project ID saved. Before I save changes, I'm going to show you this blog page, just a random basic blog page here. You can see there's no chatbot on this. This is from the same site. And when I hit save changes for this project ID, setting saved, look what happens when I refresh this blog. Boom, bottom left-hand corner, I now have the chat icon. If I click this chat here, I have a internal documentation bot up and going here that I can now ask questions. What uniform do I need to wear? Let's make sure that the bot is working and responding like it would if it was in the test window of voice flow. Boom, here we go. Okay, so that is working. So second thing I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna prove to you that if I put a different project ID in here, this will turn into a different bot. So if I end this chat here, remember I have this blue icon here. So if I go back to the dashboard and settings for voice flow, I delete this project ID. Let's go get a new project ID from a different chat bot. If I go back to the dashboard and voice flow. I'm going to open my weather bot. Go to settings, pull this project ID in, copy, back, paste, save changes. Let's go back to our blog site and refresh and see what happens. You can see my icon in the bottom right has already changed colors. And now I have my weather bot up and running. Um, Virginia Beach. 
shout out to my hometown. Would help to remember what my flow was for the weather bot. Boom. There we go. 57 degrees. That's accurate. Sunny. So this is how you use the voice flow WordPress plugin. Thanks for watching.